Hey YouTube, what's up? And welcome back to tutorial number 21. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to speak to you guys about the float and clear properties in CSS. Now, the float property actually has a couple of different uses, but for this example, I'm just going to make like a simple floating image and then I'm going to get the text to wrap around the image. So, the first thing we're going to need to do is grab an image. So if you take a look at my um, folder structure here for my website, I've got my index page and then I've got my CSS folder with my CSS sheet inside. And then inside here, I've also got an images folder with a picture of me. So this is the picture that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. And uh, what we can do now is obviously just go to the body of our website and the first thing I'm going to do is add in an image of myself um, okay image and we'll put that uh, source equal to images that's the folder that my picture is in and then my picture is called profile pick dot jpg and now what we can do is we can also give this image a class of profile pick profile underscore pick and if we go back to this folder over here let me just show you my uh, picture is actually only 200 pixels uh, wide by 200 pixels uh, in height so what I'm gonna do now is actually just give my my image um, some attributes of width and height so we'll go width is equal to 200 and the height is equal to 200 and now the last thing I'm going to do is actually just add in an alt attribute and we're going to set this equal to profile pick now the alt attribute is just a bunch of text that will show up on the web page if we cannot find my image and then obviously the height and width I already told you just sets a height and a width for my image and you guys kind of know what the rest of this stuff does so let me go ahead and just save that and what I'm going to do now is also let's add two paragraphs to our website real quick so uh, paragraph one and we can just type something in here like how now brown cow and we'll copy paste that a few times just so that we've got a longer paragraph Um, hmm, I wonder if that is enough okay we'll stop there and we can make a second paragraph and this paragraph we can also say something random like uh, oh my cheese whoops oh my cheese and exclamation mark and what we can do here is obviously oh no <laughs> wrong keyboard shortcut control C and we'll just copy paste that a few times and there we go I think we've got two long enough paragraphs so what we can do now is we just check this image or check what this website looks like in our browser so let's just go launch that in Firefox and as you can see we've got an image and then a paragraph that appears underneath the image and another paragraph below that but now what we can do is actually just go to our CSS sheet over here and remember this class that we gave to our picture class of profile pick we can go ahead and grab that class and we'll use it over here so full stop and then the class name and all you really need to do over here is type in the float property and we'll set this equal to float left for now and then I'll explain to you what that does so go ahead and click refresh and as you can see we now have a profile picture of myself with the paragraphs wrapping around my image uh, but obviously there's not much space over here so it's kind of hard to read so if you wanted to what you could do is then go ahead and give a margin around the image so let's just go ahead and make a margin of about 10 pixels for now 
go ahead and save that and refresh and, and now as you can see we've got a bit of space in between our image and our paragraphs so that's pretty cool and uh, that's pretty much what the float left property does and I actually just want to go back here real quick and show you something so seeing as there was a float left you guys are probably wondering if I could float the image right and the answer to that is yes you can and what happens when you do that is obviously the image instead of being on the left is going to be on the right so let's go ahead and click refresh and as you can see we now have an image that is floated to the right so that's what floating an image to the left or the right does but as you can see with the bottom paragraph like if you've got two paragraphs your your top paragraph and your bottom paragraph both wrap around the image so um, what I'm gonna do now is actually just go back here quickly and just set this back to float left just because I prefer it on the left and we're gonna need to make my paragraphs just a little bit longer so I'll copy this and make it about twice the size it is now and I'll do the same thing for this so control C control V and now it's basically double the size so let's go back here fresh and that's just about perfect okay now what I was saying was the bottom paragraph always seems to be wrapping around the image just like the top paragraph does but what if we wanted our bottom paragraph to appear below our image you know like maybe you didn't actually want it to wrap around our image over here so what we have to do now is use the clear property to force this paragraph to appear below our floated image so what you can do now is we're gonna have to go back to notepad plus plus go ahead and give our second paragraph a class of below let's just make that uh, class below class equals below or anything you really want to name it but I can't think of a better name at the moment so below it will be and we'll go ahead and just go ahead and select that class and now what we're going to do is use the clear property to clear the floated image so our floated image at the moment is floated left so what we can do now is clear the left side and when we go ahead and save this and refresh our image now or our paragraph now appears below the floated image so that's pretty much what clear does and it works in pretty much the exact same way as the float property does so if you had the image floated right then you would have to clear the right and if you didn't clear the right then it would just wrap around so let's go back there as you can see our text still wraps around the image until we go ahead and clear the right so let's go ahead and do that bam okay so now it's cleared and uh, what I actually like to do is instead of clearing the same as the image you know like what if I actually had two images and one was floated left and the other one was floated right and I just wanted to make sure that my content appeared below everything what you can do to um, just make sure that this paragraph uh, appears below the image no matter if it's clear floated on the left or on the right what you then do is you just go ahead and say clear both and then it doesn't really matter which side the image is floated to your paragraph is always going to be on the bottom so that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial I hope it was helpful and I will see you guys next time I would appreciate it a lot if you guys really hit that subscribe button and also don't be afraid to comment like or share my videos it's really gonna help my channel grow so thanks very much and I'll see you guys next time